<laughs> How do you like it? The different one. Okay, I'll turn it down. But before I do that, let me show you what it is. Something different, not the happy banjos. This is Billy Lee Riley Harmonica Beatlemania. So if you're interested, okay, I'll turn it down. How you all doing, everybody? Well, I'm back for another video. Welcome, welcome. And this one's a thread video. I haven't done a thread video in a long, long time. But uh, my good friend here in the Vinyl Beatles music community on YouTube, Sam St. John. How many of you have subscribed and checked out the Sam St. John channel yet? Please do. I will put the link to his channel below. Uh, Sam just started a recent thread, which I thought was pretty cool. And I'd never heard of a thread like this before. He said, show your music stickers. And I said, that's pretty cool. And he showed some really unique and, and interesting looking music stickers. And he asked us, any of us that have a YouTube channel, to please show some of your favorite music stickers. So I thought I'd jump on board, support his thread, support Sam, and perhaps inspire you to perhaps, if, if you have a channel, to maybe do a video showing some of your favorite music stickers. So let me go through mine. I have a bunch here. Um, I tried to pick some unique ones. I don't have a ton of music stickers, but I, and I probably didn't dig up everything I have, but I dug up what I could, and I thought I'd tell a quick story about each one and let you get out of here, okay? <laughs> so anyway, all right. So the first one I'm going to start with, you know how much I love power pop, garage rock, rock and soul, uh psych rock, I mean, you name it, everything from the 50s right on up, I love that kind of music. Well, there's a great station on Sirius XM called Little Stevens Underground Garage on Channel 21, probably one of my favorite radio stations of all time. It plays everything from the great 50s rock and rollers and blues artists right up through the 60s, 70s, 80s, and today with music of today. It's just a great, great channel. You could be listening to Nancy Sinatra one minute, Elvis the next, The Beatles, The Ramones, The Sex Pistols, The Raspberries. I mean, it goes on and on with a great, and up to brand new modern bands today like the Midnight Callers are on there. And, um, Nick Puente and the Grip Weeds. I mean, it's, it's just they. It's a great station. You got to listen to it. And I have a really giant size bumper sticker from Little Stevens Underground Garage. We all live in the underground garage. With an image of Little Steven Van Zant over there. So I thought you'd like to see that one. Moving right along. This one's a sentimental one because Ed from the King's Court personally gave me this sticker. From his parents old Elvis Presley New York area club called the King's Court and Ed was so kind to give me one of their stickers and I love it one of my prize stickers you know I'm a big fan of the grip weeds I have a really cool grip weed sticker they reissued their giant on the beach album uh, remastered remixed and extras and everything a couple years ago and I received this sticker as part of that set from the grip weeds with their logo all right. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I send for records from different companies all the time. I just happen to find this, so I thought I'd throw it up there to see if any of you have dealt with this company. But I must have ordered something from Cleopatra Records. A sticker from them. Let's go to a Beatles one now. I got. I grabbed some unique Beatle ones. That's kind of a cool little Beatles sticker. Cartoon images. I haven't opened this one yet, but I like to see image from the Beatles story album. And I love that sticker. That's a nice one. Uh, a couple of my favorite record stores. Here's a cool one. Support our local record stores. I always say that. Here's another cool one. And one up my way. There you go. 
cool record store. This is a really unique um, sticker. I was in the Kinks fan club back in the early eight, late 70s, early 80s. The Kinks, yes, the Kinks had a fan club. I used to get newsletters and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, when different albums came out in newsletters during that period, they would send these little stickers they made exclusively to the little fan club people. So <laughs> here's one from State of Confusion. Not the fanciest sticker, but it's still a cool sticker. The Kinks, State of Confusion. And then they sent me one for Give the, which is a little nicer than that one. Give the people what they want. You might remember that album from 1981. Thought that's a nice sticker. Uh, oh, speaking of the Midnight Callers, one of my new favorite power pop rock and roll bands. I have a little vinyl sticker with their logo. And I, did, I could have taken some stickers out of albums, but the one I just grabbed to just show you is on, in the Wings, Venus, and Mars album. They gave you two stickers, and one is this one. Kind of looks like a bookmark, but it's actually a sticker. Venus and Mars are all right tonight. And it shows all the planets. <laughs> and comparing planets distance from the sun or something. There's the sun, I guess. So that's kind of a cool little sticker from Venus and Mars. And then I got this with Venus and Mars. Very cool. And speaking of power pop bands, I love the Weaklings. And I happen to have my only sticker that's signed by the members of the band. They signed it with a silver sharpie. So there's my Weakling sticker with uh, signed by all four members. Another favorite power pop rock and roll band from Detroit that I love is the Romantics. And I have a Romantics bumper sticker. Goes way back to the 80s, this sticker. Now, this, before I show my final two, uh, well, I got a couple of Beatles stickers to show you first. Uh, uh, this one's a tribute to Sam. I think Sam's really going to like this one. This is a unique one. Uh, as you know, the Monkees have been touring the last couple of years, um, Mickey and Mike, and they're doing their final tour right now. And one of the main musical directors and one of the main guys who helped produce and put out the recent Dolan's Sings Nesmith album is Christian Nesmith. Mike's son, and his partner is Cirque Link. Now, Cirque Link also sings backup vocals on the Monkees tours along with Coco um, Dolans and stuff, so she's part of it as well. Well, I bought an EP from them. It's a Cirque Link EP. It's called the Pop EP, and as part of the package, they sent me one of their stickers. So I have a Christian Nesmith and Cirque Link sticker, Sam, which I think you'd find very unique. And I'll show you that right now. <laughs> I know Sam might get a kick out of that. Little round, round sticker. All right, and a couple of unique Beatles ones before I get to some really cool stuff here I want to show you. That's kind of a neat sticker, just that image from early 69, mid 69. And this one's a unique one. It's Beatles related. It's called Features the hit single, Help, I Need a Body, Hard Day's Flight, The Aliens. <laughs> I've always thought this was a cool sticker, <laughs> and I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing it. Musical related. Oh, before I uh, finish up here, Sam did show one magnet. So in, in, spirit, in the spirit of that, I will show you two magnets I have that I really like. I got one down at the Love show at the Mirage in Las Vegas when I went and saw that several years ago. And it's a magnet of White Album images, which I thought was very cool. And then I was in a store where they made these unique little magnets with like, there's the little magnets on the side here. And if you look, they actually cut out a real live label <laughs> from the Beatles' second album, which is one of my favorite Beatles albums ever. This side, too, has the magnets on them. But there you go. This is a cool little magnet. They cut out the label and made a magnet out of it. So I thought that was kind of neat. And last but not least, before I'm out of here, yeah, as you know, if it go back to check out my videos of when I met Ringo in 1992 and Paul in 1990. You can check out those videos to get that whole story. I won't tell them here. 
But I have two backstage passes, one from Ringo's 1992 tour, the tour I met him, not used. And I have one of Paul from his 1990 world tour. As you can see, sticker on the back there. There it is. So these are my two real prize music stickers, Sam, because they're from the tour I met Paul and the tour I met Ringo. So that's it. That's it, folks. Simple 10 minute video. I wanted to uh, pay tribute to Sam and his thread for showing your music stickers. So please jump on board, folks. Check out Sam's channel. Link will be below. And I hope you enjoyed traveling through some uh, many decades here of different stickers I have. Take care. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.